Hello, everybody. I hope y'all are doing great. Um, sorry, this is a repeat scenery. <laughs> but this is where I am today right now. And I really wanted to do an update. And I just want to say thank it, thank you to everybody for being so kind and so supportive and so excited for me. I really appreciate it. And I love it that you guys are going on my journey with me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's see. Wednesday. Um, my sister-in-law, which I keep saying my sister-in-law, but her name is Melissa. She works at a company that has um, shipping, you know, UPS, FedEx, and stuff on site. So she said she would ship my boxes for me because it would be a little bit cheaper than if I, you know, just took them to a, a store myself and did it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Wednesday, Tuesday I took her the boxes. Wednesday she took them to work. And she texts me and tells me that it was $117 to ship two boxes. I was like, what? No way. I could not believe it was so expensive. She said, okay, hold on. They're going to try to find a cheaper price. Okay, so the cheapest they could get them shipped was $99.71. I was blown away. One box weighed 13 pounds and the other weighed 23. I just truly cannot believe that they were that <laughs> expensive to ship. I guess I never ship anything, so I really did not realize that. But they are shipped. They will be there tomorrow. So, Thursday, um, I just want to say I am so, so thankful that I decided to stay for Thanksgiving. Um, it was an awesome day. I had a wonderful day with my family, with my kids, my grandkids. Um, it was just great. I am very happy that I decided to stay for that. Um, let's see. Oh, Friday morning, I went to breakfast with my brother and sister, which we like, you know, we live all, you know, we've always lived close together, but we just have our own lives and have never really done, you know, a whole lot together. But we went to breakfast on Friday. We had a great time. It was really nice. I actually got a picture of us together, and I don't think we've had a picture of us together, just the three of us as adults. It's kind of crazy that, you know, things like that happen, and you just don't even realize it. And it took me, you know, moving away for it to happen, which kind of makes me sad. But I am very glad that I did, you know, get to spend that time with them. Um, let's see. Oh. I told you I think that I that I had one bag packed already. Um, my other bag is almost completely packed. Um, all I have left to pack in it is the the few things that I had brought to my daughter's house. So I will get that packed. And oh my gosh, guys, it is getting so close. I really cannot believe how quickly time has gone. Um. I mean, it just seems like, you know, I quit working, but it's been almost a month already. It's just, just amazing how time, how fast time goes, especially when you're this busy, I guess. So yesterday, oh my gosh, what did I do yesterday? That's bad, guys. All my days are running together. <laughs> um... Yes, so yesterday um, was a great day. I went shop while well, I went shopping on Friday and got the grandbaby some more stuff. And then yesterday we put the Christmas tree up and I got to do Christmas this morning with the grandbaby who just turned one and that made me really happy that I got to do that with her. Um, 
she liked her gifts. She's she just turned one, so she wasn't into it too much. Um, she tried opening the presents, but Nana kind of wrapped them really good. But um, yeah, so that was really fun. I really enjoyed that this morning, and got a few more things to do today, and going to see my oldest daughter and my grandkids tonight to um, say my goodbyes to them. So, yes, guys, for the next two days, I'm probably going to be like an emotional train wreck. Just saying. Um, so, oh, tomorrow. The car. The car goes tomorrow. Yes, they will be here tomorrow. Not sure what time. But they will be here tomorrow to pick the car up. Oh, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Um, I got it all cleaned out. So it's ready to go. Well, it's not quite ready to go. I kind of need to take it to the car wash because, you know, I want to wash it and clean it out first. But, um, yes, besides that, ready to go. And then, ah, the exciting part, Tuesday. Tuesday, I have to be up so incredibly early. <laughs> My flight leaves at 9.30. I have to be there at like 7.30. It takes probably 45 minutes from here to get to the airport in Tampa. Um, so, yes, going to be a very, very early morning. So I am really hoping that I will be able to sleep on the plane at some point <laughs> on Tuesday. Um, from here, to Houston is pretty in a pretty easy flight. You know, it's like two and a half hours. From Houston to LA, it's not too bad of a flight. You know, it's like three and a half hours. So that's half my trip, basically, from here to LA. And then the other half of the trip is from LA to Hilo. And even though I've made that trip three times, for some reason, and usually, you know, it, it turns into night when I'm going, you know, across the Pacific. So you would think that maybe I could sleep on the plane. No, has not happened yet. No matter how tired I am, no matter what I do, I have not been able to sleep on the plane. But I don't believe I've ever had to get up this early to go. So I am hoping I will be exhausted enough by the time... I get on the plane in LA because I do have a three hour layover in LA. So that will give me a little time to just relax and, you know, walk around, just window shop a little bit, get something to eat, you know, so that'll give some time because the other option was, you know, a 30 minute layover and honestly, I don't need that kind of stress. It's just too short for me. So, three hours will be good. I can decompress. Maybe I can find somewhere to take a video. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to try it. And then, the long flight to Hilo. But I'm hoping that, yes, maybe I will actually be able to sleep this time. I do want to try to take some videos on my journey. Um... Once I leave here, you know, maybe I can do the takeoff, the landings, you know, maybe a little bit at um, LAX. You know, hopefully, we will see. Um, I definitely want to get some video to share with you guys. So... I believe, let me think, I can't think of anything else right now, that's pretty much the last few days, everything I have done, so weather-wise has been really nice here, um, low 80s, high 70s during the day, and 60s at night, so it's been really nice here, it's been pleasant. So we only had those two two nights of cold weather, but it's going to be cold Tuesday night, but guess what? I won't be here. So, 
I will be on my way. All right, guys. Y'all have a great one. Until next time, aloha.